I think the message for me is always this. We all know somebody that has cancer or that's died from cancer. We all know a grandparent or have a friend that had a grandparent that's battling Alzheimer's. We all know people that have suffered or died from heart disease. We all know children that need three injections of insulin every day. These are all, we're all aware of the ravishes of HIV, AIDS. So what our industry does is we attempt to develop medicines to cure these terrible diseases. And if we can't cure them, maybe we can alleviate some of the, some of the suffering. That is righteous work. And so it's easy to maybe come up with a smear campaign about our ads or about the cost of drug discovery. Drug discovery is expensive because the technologies we use are expensive. Drug discovery is expensive just because for every one drug that's discovered, there's a hundred that have failed. So what I would say is what we do is by developing drugs, medicines that make the world a, a, a better place, that's just a wonderful thing, I think, to do as a technology, uh, as an industry. Uh, it's rewarding work. I think it's more than just my work. You know, you always want to have integrity and feel good that you came to work and gave it your best effort uh, day in and day out. That in of itself, uh, it, I think, is important. But uh, I want to be known as a good father, a good spouse, a good husband, a good friend, uh, someone that always kept their integrity, uh, someone that always tried to help others that were less fortunate than themselves. I would think uh, that would be that someone that lived uh, life to the full every day. Probably, I, I don't know if I'm proud of it, but I think what I'm very appreciative of, it was awesome to have the opportunity to meet uh, our CEO, Jeff Kindler. That was really awesome, that he would come visit the lab guys. That was really cool. And to have the opportunity to explain to him, this is really what we do. Isn't that amazing? That was an awesome opportunity. To be recognized for our work for the wave bioreactor, which is now used uh, all throughout uh, discovery and uh, development here at Pfizer. That was, uh, I think, a, a, a wonderful achievement. And uh, it was something that, uh, it was a simple new technology that we were able to expand uh, across Pfizer. Uh, to be recognized for that, that was very awesome. To be fortunate enough to uh, meet my wife here at Pfizer after that story I told you of uh, my first wife dying from breast cancer. Um, how fortunate was that to find someone else who uh, was just loving and caring and kind? Um, how many people uh, get that opportunity to win twice in life? That's very fortunate. Um, to be able to work with some of the most brilliant people in the world in their areas of study, that's pretty fortunate. So um, I don't think I'm, I don't think pride is the word. I think I recognize how fortunate I am. And uh, so for that, I'm thankful. I think in some ways Pfizer is attempting to do that through the science and math, a really terrific program, through the Sam Jam program. Uh, one thing that we did a lot of earlier in my career was bring a uh, many of these high school students through the labs, into some of the labs, to actually see the technologies where they could kind of interact with the student because of, I think because of safety concerns now, you know, we're a much more litigatious society uh, because of the cost involved, perhaps. We don't do that as much as we should, but certainly we should be bringing in uh, the, the high school students, the, the cream of the crop high school students, and the, the AP biology, AP chemistry students from high school so that they can see these technologies because, you know, to read about them is one thing, to read about chemistry or to read about biology, but to be able to see it in action, that's just incredible. And that's, you know, that's what happened to me. You kind of get to see it in action. You know, that enthusiasm is infectious. 
it generates that gee whiz response, which is really what we want. And so I think that we need to invest more in certainly our high school level kids, our college level kids. Uh, we do quite a bit at the middle school level, but uh, certainly to invest more because they are the future scientists of tomorrow. Thank you.